Team Trees has been a rapidly growing initiative started in May 2019 when Mr. Beast hit 20 million subscribers and his fans pushed him to plant 20 million trees to celebrate. For the past five months, him and Arbor Day Foundation have been working on this project. They also called in a ton of other YouTubers to make their own videos on this topic, as what Jacksepticeye described as the biggest YouTuber collab in history. The goal is to raise $20 million to plant 20 million trees, obviously $1 equaling one tree. In only three days, $6 million has been raised. What I noticed is that Mr. Beast and the TeamTrees.org website itself gives no explanation on the steps of actually turning $20 million into the reality of 20 million trees. At first glance, the website seems to only show the amount raised, a place to donate, the contributors, and social posts with Team Trees. Even Mr. Beast only says, these trees will have an extremely high rate of survivability, with no exact numbers or evidence. So this leaves me wondering, is Team Trees legit? I came up with four questions that I felt were the most important regarding the effectiveness and legitimacy of Team Trees. Question 1. How likely are the trees to survive to maturity? 2. Is $1 per tree actually enough money to carry out this goal? 3. How, or more specifically, who is planting these trees? 4. As a whole, how trustworthy is the Arbor Day Foundation, the group in charge of planting the trees? For the remainder of this video, we will be focusing on this nonprofit organization as they are the professionals doing the planting. Tree planting projects are attractive because it's a quantifiable number, however, most trees need to grow for at least 100 years before being able to offset human greenhouse gas emissions. The problem is most trees need special care and attention to survive, as trees can be considered an R-selected species, meaning they produce many offspring that individually each have a low chance of survival. For example, Dustin from Smarter Every Day mentions in his Team Trees video that his grandfather attempted to grow hundreds of trees with a variety of different methods back in the 60s. From hundreds of saplings, only two survived. The problem was that he tried to grow longleaf pines in an area that was just a little farther north of the longleaf pines growth range. As we can see, we must take small details into consideration. Remember how I mentioned the TeamTrees.org website seems to show little information at first? Well, they do have a tiny frequently asked questions section. One section reads, The Arbor Day Foundation always emphasizes planting native species where local conditions and forest plans allow. Their motto is to plant the right trees in the right place for the right reasons. I was able to find a more detailed explanation on the foundation's personal website, which says the process begins in areas that the U.S. Forest Service has selected as being most critical. These are typically areas that can't regenerate naturally due to the extreme damage. The seedlings are grown in a nursery and then selectively chosen for where they will be planted. Forest Service employees and some volunteers do the work to plant the seeds when the weather conditions are right. Take into consideration that the Arbor Day Foundation began in 1972 and they plant approximately 5 million trees per year. So yeah, they kind of know what they're doing. However, nowhere have I been able to find any information on the upkeep and management of these trees into maturity. It's not in the FAQ, Mr. Beast never mentions it neither in his video or on Twitter, and I scavenged through all of arbordays.org's website only to find nothing. Does this mean that all hope is lost for the survival of these trees? Do they plant them and forget them? Well, that's unlikely. Arborday.org has an entire section on tree care such as pruning, storm recovery, and watering, so they obviously realize the importance of continuous care even if they don't mention any upkeep they do themselves. I suspect this is because the planting falls on Forest Service employees, which doesn't specifically mention their steps for upkeep either, but go to their website and you will find a lot of emphasis on protecting forests from wildfires, invasive species, and people. It only makes sense that with 20 million saplings, not each one can be protected and managed individually. Instead, they manage the entire area as a whole to provide the best conditions for trees to grow. So now we know, yes, the trees are likely to survive. Their team consists of U.S. Forest Service employees and volunteers around the globe. And yes, the Arbor Day Foundation has a lengthy and experienced track record. But this leaves us with one question left. Is $1 per tree actually enough? Well, Team Trees is not the first initiative to promise $1 per tree. There's also OneTreePlanted.org, GrowCleanAir.org, Nature.org, and NationalForest.org, a partner of the U.S. Forest Service with a goal of 50 million trees. 
Every single one of these websites claims one dollar plants one tree. Two of these actually answer the question themselves regarding money. OneTreePlanted.org breaks down the exact process and the cost of each steps in the process, totaling exactly one dollar, though the accuracy of this breakdown is questionable. Nature.org mentions the cost to be between one to three dollars per tree. So, it is likely that it would cost a little more than a dollar on average for each tree. Would they have enough money to cover these extra costs? In their 2018 annual financial report, their total unrestricted revenue was more than $53 million, mostly coming from membership dues and contributions. Their total unrestricted expenses were about $50,700,000, mostly going towards Trees for America, Rainforest Rescue, and Arbor Day Farm. To me, this isn't even a question of if $1 per tree is enough, it's more so that Arbor Day Foundation has plenty of revenue and financial stability, and it's safe to imagine that the five months of pre-planning towards starting Team Trees included talking about the finances. With at least four other organizations that have shown great progress with the promise of only $1 per tree, it's highly doable for Team Trees to do this as well. So finally, we're at the end of the video and all questions have been passed. I hope I could help you make your decision on donating to Team Trees before 2019 is over. Now, I'm just a full-time college student with no income, so I donated $5 myself, but I will leave plenty of links below so you can see the information and donate for yourself. Or, if you hate Mr. Beast and other collaborating YouTubers, consider donating to the other four organizations I mentioned, which will also be linked below. For example, Dustin from Smarter Every Day mentions in his team fuck. For example, Dustin from Smarter Every Day mentions in his team fuck.